Welcome back to today's video guys. This one's gonna be slightly different. It's back to the mod series. What are we doing? Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this S3 sound like an S3. Yeah, so another way to just hopefully make the car a little bit louder. Like we said previously, the car as standard doesn't sound great or it doesn't sound like what we'd expect an S3 to do. So what we're gonna be doing is fitting a resonator delete pipe and Basically, it's about 140 odd quid. We'll put the link in the description below anyway. And it's supposed to be straightforward. We did try to do this at home, but we couldn't get the car high enough off the ground to do it. So what we're doing instead is we're gonna be popping down to Darren. You might remember him from Magnum Performance. A couple of weeks ago, I took the Supra there to get the MOT done. He's basically gonna fit the resonator delete kit for us. He's got a ramp, it's a lot more easier and we'll see basically if it sounds any better hopefully it does hopefully it does otherwise the owner of this car just spent 140 odd pounds for no reason yeah. what we need to do though first is actually put some petrol in this the life of an s3 owner you're always running in reserve <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to fill up and then we'll crack on um, down to darren's guys Right guys, so what you saw, what Darren did was he took the delete kit and just marked it up, up there basically. So you see that's, that's where we're going to make the cut mark. And then over here we're just going to loosen those and pop the resonator out. So put the chain cutter, so that, this again comes with the kit. And this is really where it helps to be off the ground. And using a chain cutter and a bit of a bit of strength, basically keep going, and then eventually it'll cut through that. Just loosened the two 13 mil bolts here, so that sleeve will slide off, and then the resonator should be ready to um, drop out once once we remove the exhaust hanger just up there as well. to cut up a perfectly brand new car. <laughs> so you can see the delete pipes basically just gonna slip on top of there, the flange joint. I'm gonna pull that back down, tighten it, put it through the exhaust rubber up there that's holding it, and then butt it up against there, and then put the new sleeve on top of there. So this is completely reversible. So what you can do is actually just take that back up Put that back and then put the new sleeve on top so you can actually put it back So Darren, I think you're going to become an S3 specialist after this video as well. <laughs> yeah. Get a lot of German fanboys coming this way. Oh, I said brand new and easy to get on the way. I know. 
<laughs> it's like I laughed when he pulled out the WD-40. I was like, do we even need it? It's only got like 100 miles on it. Hope you found that useful. We're actually running really low on battery. That's my fault. Apologies for not charging the kit up properly. Mutz has already had a go at me <laughs> off camera. Um, but what we'll do is I'll basically wrap the video up now, just in case the battery does die. Along the way, if we have got enough juice, I'll throw in the odd clips. If not, we'll throw in a totally separate clip right at the end, just to give you guys an idea of what the car sounds like. If you are local to London, pop on down to Enfield. You saw how quick Darren done that. He'll hook you guys up and he's done a really good job. And to be honest, if we only asked him yesterday and he basically he slotted us in. So he's a really good guy. Like I said, I trust him with my Supra. Now you guys can also trust him with the S3 as well if you want. Let us know whether you think the Resonator Delete kit is worth it. Does the car now sound a little bit better? Remember, give this one a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Look forward to engaging with you guys and we'll see you in the next one. Come